Good day Grade 11s, welcome to this first lesson of statistics. In this lesson we're going to be covering histograms. So what is a histogram? Basically this thing on the right is a histogram. It is a way to graphically or visually represent data and how it is spread. It is like a bar graph but there are no gaps between. Okay, so it's usually display, used to display grouped data. So please understand the difference between a bar graph and a histogram. Okay, there are a couple of differences. The first difference is that a histogram has no gaps where a bar graph does. And the reason for that difference is that a histogram usually compares the same thing. So for example, it would be the score that students um, got on a test. Whereas a bar graph would be comparing different things like for example sale of cell phones and refrigerators and car parts within a store. So histogram, same things, type of things being compared, no spaces between the bars. Bar graph, you don't do it, but just in case you want to know, it's to compare different things. Right, so let's look at how we would read off a histogram. So this one here is the frequency distribution of the height of 25 students. And you can see on the y-axis, so you can see on your y-axis you've got the frequency. And on the right-hand side here is a height in inches, okay, that's the UK way or the American way of measuring height. So the first question would be how many students have a height of between 70 and 72 inches? So we'd go and look over here and we'd see, oh look, this is 70 to 72. And if we look over there, that number you can't really see very well, but that number there says two. So we've got two students which have the height of between 70 and 72 inches. The next type of question is which height group or groups has the smallest frequency? Okay, so obviously we could say, well, these have the smallest frequency because they've got zero. So there are no students between the heights of 54 and 58. But if they said, no, there must be some frequency, we're not talking about zero frequency, then the smallest frequency would actually be this one over here, which is between 72 and 74. So you understand that's how we read our histogram. Now let's make one. It says a health and fitness group conducted a survey to find out which age group most frequently uses the gym. Most frequently uses the gym. Okay, so we're going to start off with a stem and leaf diagram and we're going to start by writing one, two, three, And nine. Now this stem is basically your first number of your decimal. So for example, one stands for every number from 10 through to 19. Two stands for every number between 20 and 29, 30 and 39 and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort this data and put it in the stem and leaf diagram. So I'm going to start doing it just to show you. I'm not going to do all these numbers because luckily for me I've got it on the next page. So let's show you how to do this. So we've got 30 over there which I'm going to cross out and I'm going to put a zero. So that's 30. Then I've got 14. So we've got a 14 year old. We have a 21 year old, we have another 30 year old, we have an 18 year old, we have a 27 year old, okay, we've got another 30 year old, sure, they're doing well, 26 year old, etc, etc. So we're going to carry on and we're going to put this all in. And what you'll end up with is a stem and leaf diagram that looks like this. So you can see therefore that we've got all the numbers of all the people that have basically gone to the gym and you'll see they're no 90 years old but there is a dude who's 83 or a lady that's 83 that's pretty impressive right now what we're going to do is we're going to use this stem and leaf diagram to draw a frequency table so your frequency table is going to be from 0 to 9 years 10 to 19 20 to 29 so basically we're going from here from 10 through to 19 20 through to 29 33 to 39, etc., all the way through to 
83 and they also have this here but do you see there's no kids less than 10 so therefore we know that this frequency is zero the frequency of kids or people between 10 and 19 that go to the gym are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've got 11 clients in the age range between 10 and 19. In the age range between 20 and 29, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we've got 14 people. In the age range of 30 to 39, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's 17, and so on and so on. So we can carry on adding these up till we see that we've got 0 between 90 and 99, and we have got 4 in 80 to 89, etc, etc. So that's how we draw up our frequency table, which again, I have over here. So now I have typed out the frequency table for this. Now we are going to draw our histogram. So what we're going to do is we're going to allocate, and what to make this easier for myself, these blocks are quite small, is I'm going to make from here to here be 0 to 9, from there to there be from 10 to 19, this is going to be 20 to 29, that is going to be 30 to 39, that would be 40 to 49, 50 to 59, do you get what I'm doing here? 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, and finally 90 to 99. And now if we look at this, do you see that the biggest number is 17? So let's see how many blocks we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Awesome! So I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and luckily we don't have to. And this is our frequency, the y-axis is our frequency, and our x-axis is our age groups, our age groups. Okay, and now let's draw this. So, okay, from 0 to 9 is 0, but from 10 to 19 we've got 11 people. So 10 to 19 starts here and goes to there. So we need to draw this and grade 11s, please remember you have a ruler and you're doing this with a pencil. So please, I'm not expecting any squiggly lines like my lines, right? You need rulers and pencils. Right, so now we've done that one. Now 20 to 29 is 14. So now we go up to 14 and we join that line and we draw that line down. Right, then we got 30 to 39 is 17, so we go up. Right, and we join these lines. Then we've got 13, which is 40 to 49, so we've got 13. Let's see if this doesn't help me draw a straighter line. It's a bit better. Then we've got 7 which is the 50 to 59 group. Then we've got 6, which is the 60 to 69 group. Then we've got 5 for the 70 to 79 group. We've got 4 for the 80 to 89, which is awesome. And we back down to zero for the 90 plus group. So that is our histogram. So from that we can see that the most frequent 
um, users are between the ages of 30 and 39 and the least frequent are the users between 80 and 89 and you can also see that most of our users are actually younger than 49 so that's how you would draw a histogram and you would use it please make sure you know how to draw the histograms how to get your information how to use a stem and leaf diagram to draw up a frequency table practice and grade 11s seriously pencils and rulers okay do not want it looking this terrible. It needs to look beautiful and neat. Have a great day. Please go practice and do the assessment at the end of the section.